Welcome back to the Michigan State University Herbarium. My name's Matt, and I'm getting ready to go collect some plants tomorrow. So what I've got here is some equipment that I've prepared that I'm going to tell you about. The most important key to getting a good specimen is to dry it and flatten it as quickly as possible, while also not overheating it. Because water's your enemy while they're drying, and if they get overheated, then important parts can start to wilt or even fall off like flowers. And so the most important piece of equipment that we use to make sure that the specimens maintain their integrity after you collect them is a plant press. And so that's what I've got here. You can see that it's just a wooden lattice um, with some fabric straps around it. Normally I would keep it tighter than this um, so that the plants are actually flattened. What I'll do here is open it up so you can see what's inside. The it's kind of like a sandwich. What we've got here is corrugated cardboard and the perforations in the side here that you can kind of see let air flow through and it dries the specimens out. Blotter paper. So this is just absorbent paper. It's about the same size as a herbarium sheet. And then in between these pieces of blotter paper and cardboard is just regular newspaper. Um, this is actually pretty standard for people who collect plants. Newspaper is absorbent and it's easy to find. So yeah, um, that's basically what a plant press is. So you put it back together in the field. They're pretty durable. Um, they're low tech, but they do their job really, really well. You put it back together and then, yeah, once you have your plants in here, you can just tighten it right up. Um, and this entire press can go into the freezer, it can go into the drying oven, and then you can use it again. So usually we will do up to, I don't know, you can kind of put up to 30 specimens in here, I think. And when you tighten this up in the field, you can really like kneel on it or uh, stand on it even, because you really want to squish those plants down. Yeah, so another thing that I usually bring with me is an actual herbarium sheet. So I'll just, prob I probably will just include this in the press. And uh, bringing one of these with you um, will let you figure out how big to make the specimens. Because at the, at the end of the day, you want your specimen to actually fit on a herbarium sheet without having to like start breaking pieces off or confusing the people who are mounting the specimen. Um, I also will bring this. So this is just a simple notebook. It's actually my personal collection notebook. And so this is a record of every plant that I've ever collected. Um, so this will have things in there like the scientific name, the location, the date, anybody else I was with, associated plant species, GPS coordinates, um, as well as collection number. And so those collection numbers are something that people don't always do, and they really come in handy later on, for example, um, when we go to database the specimens. And so each collection number is unique to um, a specimen that you collect. It's really that simple. Um, so for example, the first specimen I ever collected would be Chancellor 1. The second specimen I ever collected would be Chancellor 2. Um, I know of botanists who are extremely prolific, and they ended up at like Churchill 90,000. Um, it's pretty amazing how many specimens people can collect over their lifetimes. So yeah, I'll bring this with me. Um, things like clippers, so for example, like if there's a shrub or a tree that you want to collect from and you can't get the entire plant, then you can use these clippers to get a piece of it. Um, I don't actually have a trowel with me because one of the botanists in the herbarium has checked it out. We, we can check out equipment for people who are collecting plants. Um, so I, I think everyone knows what a shovel looks like though. It's a small shovel. Um, if you collect things like acorns or like for example walnuts or something, obviously that can go in plant press because they don't flatten. So you can just put those in like paper bags like this and then those can go in the drying oven. Pencil, we always write in pencil because um, sometimes collection notebooks can get wet and if you use pen, the ink will smear and that would be the worst thing that could happen. And I've also got some wading boots. So tomorrow I'm going to collect out at Cory Marsh Ecological Research Center, which is a property owned by Michigan State. And I'm interested in knowing what the plants are uh, that are growing there. And so I'm going to go collect some. And so these are wading boots. You can also bring waders. Um, and of course, like other stuff, like appropriate field clothes, bug spray, sunblock, water, food, the works. But yeah, I think that's... 
pretty much all there is to getting ready to go collect some plants. Um, if you don't have a plant press, what you can also do is bring, like, some people bring Meyer bags. And um, so if you just bring your collection notebook and you bring some Meyer bags or Ziploc bags and little pieces of paper that you can tear up, you can write the information for that collection in your notebook and give it a collection number and then like use a little scrap of paper and put it in the bag with each individual plant. You use one plant per bag. Um, it's not as good because like I said, it's important to get them flat and dry as quickly as possible, but um, obviously you can't carry around a stack of books with you in the field. So what you can do is put them in bags and then bring them home as soon as you can and um, get books or something else heavy with some paper towel and write in the paper towels like the collection number and then you can take them out of the bags and stack them up that way. Um, and that way they can start drying. And I'm going to do another video on actually how to dry the specimens after this because um, that's a whole other section. So yeah, thanks for joining me for this part. I'm looking forward to going out on a beautiful collection journey tomorrow, and I'll see you there. Thanks.